Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the first big Windows 11 update that is coming in 2024. We're going to talk about new features and also the expected release date for this update. And as always in this update, we're going to try to cover some features that are interesting and of course some other minor features that are included in this big update that is coming at the beginning of 2024. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet at access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. So now talking about the new big update that is coming in 2024 in Windows 11. We would have called it a moment update a while ago, but as per some info that I received from Phantom Ocean 3, moment updates are basically dead. Microsoft is no longer planning to name them moment update. This would have been the moment 5 update, but as it seems, this would be just another month's release that will include a few new features compared to a normal monthly release. And also rollout could be different in this update. So now let's talk about the new features. First of all, in this update, we can expect Microsoft to start to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area, and that will include changes to the Windows operating systems, such as the new system components page and settings. This was something that was required for Microsoft so that they comply with EEA. And as you can see, we have a new system components page. Also, we now have an all apps section in the start menu, which will state which one of the apps or files are some system files or apps, and now they will be labeled as such. And also in search, automatically you're gonna notice that certain apps services are labeled as a system. And also all apps in Windows can now be uninstalled. For example, the camera, Cortana, web search from Bing, Microsoft Edge, and Photos. For example, Edge, we will be able to uninstall it. Just right click on it and we will have the uninstall button. Of course, on this build, I don't have all the new features implemented, but of course, I'm mentioning everything that will be new. Also related to default apps, Windows will continue to prompt customers when they are opening content that a newly installed app registers for, so they can easily change their default. And of course, there are a few other minor changes in relation to this but you're going to have more info about this in the article below and you're going to be redirected to the official Microsoft website where Microsoft is stating in detail what are the new changes that will happen in the European economic area so if you're not in Europe these changes will basically not happen for you. Related to widgets we will now be able to turn off news in widgets and also we will have a new widget settings UI that is looking pretty good and it matches the Windows 11 experience. Also related to Windows Ink and also shell handwriting we will have support for more languages inside Windows 11 with multiple gestures and more features added that will help users who are using this feature to use Windows 11 easier. Related to voice access, we also have some other improvements. For example, we have multiple languages as you can see here inside the languages section. Also custom commands if we go to this question mark and then click on view all commands, we're going to have voice shortcuts and basically we can create new shortcuts that can save time on recurring tasks by creating our own voice commands to trigger a single action or a sequence of actions. And I think that is pretty good. Related to narrator, we will have of course some improvements also for narrator, voice preview experience, image consumption experience, and more. I'm not going to go in depth with these because I'm sure that not a lot of you are interested in those. I'm just going to mention them and if you're interested in a more in-depth presentation of them, you can check out some of the blog posts from Microsoft. Related to Windows Share and Windows, if we click on a file and then click on the share button, we're going to notice some new UI changes inside the share window. Also, we're going to be able to share using other apps for example WhatsApp and overall the reliability and also performance of this should be better and we also have some improvements related to nearby sharing which will allow us basically to share files to computers or systems that are in the same network and we also have a new rename device experience which is now more friendly and we can enter a device name up to 16 characters and of course I think this new UI is looking good if we're typing reset inside the settings app we will have this new function fix problems using Windows Update 
update, reinstall your current version of Windows, your apps, files, and settings will be preserved, and then you can click reinstall now. This is a new way of recovering or resetting your PC, of course, with the option of keeping your files using Windows Update, and I think this is a pretty nice feature. Also, Microsoft will be adding some new improvements in the Start Menu. Apps grouped in the Start Menu's recommended section for newly installed apps. I've done a video about this, so you can check that out if you want to see how that looks. We also have some screencasting updates with new improvements, new suggestions, and more. I think that is also pretty nice. The Snap Assist suggestions should also come in this version of Windows. Basically, if you click on this and you have multiple apps opened, you should get some suggestions inside the Snap Assist section with those apps. I've done multiple videos about these and labels in addition to those, so I think that is a pretty nice addition for Microsoft. Also, new improvements for Windows 365, boot updates, dedicated mode, customizable login page, fail fast mechanism, banners and settings to let the user customize local PC settings more easily. And also, Windows 365 switch updates, improved disconnect experience, desktop indicators to differentiate between cloud and local PCs, cloud PC connection connection status and timeout indicator on the connection screen, new copy button for error correlation IDs, and more of course, these are some of the new things that will happen related to Windows 365. So if you want to learn more info about this, you can check out the article below. We also have some improvements for the task manager, to be more exact, in the processes page, process grouping updates, which will basically improve the task manager even further. And also the desktop work area changes are now animated, that is also a pretty nice thing. And also the new steps recorder app that will be deprecated now has the new banner and will have the new banner and the new update. This tool is being phased out. Click here to explore alternatives. For example, one of the alternatives will be the snipping tool app. And also, we are not sure yet, but the new notepad app update could be a thing in the new Windows 11 update. Basically, the update that shows you the total amount of characters inside the document. If you select some text, it will show you the amount of characters selected out of the total amount. And I think that is also really nice. And also, if you go and right click on a file, you should have the new edit in notepad button to edit files easier with notepad. And now finally, talking about the release date, this will be most likely released in late February, maybe in one of the Tuesday releases. It could be the C release for the month of February. So, so that could be maybe the 27th of February. We don't know for sure, but it will be most likely a late February release. So I have to give Phantom Mission 3 a huge shout out for this. He gathered the list for pretty much all the new features that we can expect in the first big update for Windows 11 in 2024. So make sure to follow him on Twitter. He does a great job by covering news, finding hidden features and more in Windows 11. So I think he deserves a follow. So basically, this is all there is to it. To the first big update that we're expecting in Windows 11 in 2024. As I've said, it should have been the Moment 5 update, but Microsoft is trying maybe a different thing. So these updates will most likely no longer be called Moment 5 updates. Of course, if I have more news about this in the near future, I will let you know. But at the end of the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you enjoyed this video. And I also want to wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year with your loved ones. I'm hoping that you are all well. So this was the video for today. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.